Stuart, sum up that 90 minutes today. Uh, I think, really simply, Scott, I think uh, we carved out the best chances in the first half. I think one early on with, with Jack Vale was w w was a guilt edge chance. I thought it was a good chance. And the one with Lennon Miller, um, I think you should take another touch. Uh, listen, I'm not coming after a 17-year-old, but I just think that we carved out the best opportunities. The kind of game plan and the structure of what we wanted was there. Um, I think by the very nature of Hearts making two changes at half-time tells you that they're frustrated. They feel they need to change something. They go to their bench. Um, and I didn't. Uh, it's a simple as that um, and then even from that side it's got start the second half I thought you know that opening period of the second half we were really on the ascendancy we had them pinned in we had some lovely balls flashed across the six yard box we had found ourselves in really good areas um, and then the bit that I just become sick fed up with um, and, and so frustrated with because we, we, we do shelter people at times and we do protect people at times but to concede the goal that we concede the, the, the opening goal of the game fell on Shankland you know identifying that you've got the top marksman in the country top goal scorer uh, guy that plays in that number nine position that thrives off of space in these areas um, and we gift them the freedom of our penalty box and, and that bit's not acceptable it's, it's simply not acceptable we make changes to our setup. we make changes to our, our structure for these dead balls um, but ultimately that's a thing that is uh, is an Achilles heel again today and it puts us in a position where we start throwing on John Obika, young Mark Ferry, we've got guys playing in deep line midfield positions that aren't naturally uh, sitting midfield players to be as attacking as we possibly can be to throw caution at the wind and it starts to become a bit bedraggled towards the end because um, we're wide open and we're trying to, trying to get into advanced areas to get the equaliser so that frustrates me um, it'll continue to frustrate me until such time as we, we take more responsibility on the field and make sure that we, we eradicate these errors from restart, set plays, call it what you will. I was just going to say, is it a growing trend and a growing frustration for you that your team's conceding goals from restarts? Yeah, yeah, massive. Um, because again, I think it's something that we spend a heck of a lot of time on and it just becomes that individual uh, responsibility. It just becomes being switched on when the ball goes dead. You, you've got an area of the pitch that you take up. You've got a responsibility for throw-ins. You're a front screen, you're a, uh, you're a back marker, um, you're tucking in at the opposite side, you're uh, tasked with getting to the deep line midfielder so that he doesn't sling it in the box a la uh, Aberdeen during the week. Um, so all these things frustrate me. We go back over them time and again. Um, but I've always spoke about good in, uh, emotional intelligence, but it's also the emo emotional intelligence in a game um, to understand that, that that becomes a threat in these moments. And um, I thought by and large throughout the game until the first goal, we'd done it really, really well. Um, but I've just said that to the players, you can do it 95% of the time. Um, but that 5% is the bit that will get you killed. And, and it has done again with, with Shanklin's header for the first goal. We've played a lot of football of late. Is that the reason for Blair Spittle and Callum Butcher missing out on the squad today? Yeah, listen, we come here short today from you know players that have a big influence on our team. Uh, Andy Halliday, as we know, is missing at this minute in time with a, with a, a calf complaint. Um, Blair Spittle, unfortunately, took a, a, a heavy knock in the game against Aberdeen. On Wednesday, you wouldn't know it because he bounced up from the challenge and played on, but he's got a bit of swelling in his knee. Um, and then Callum Butcher again, the two of them. Uh, Blair and Callum were trying to trying to get themselves fit to play in the game today. They really tried hard to, to, to make it today, but Callum's got a, a, a great complaint as well so um, we went with what we had and I thought we'd give plenty of the game um, but that's no silver lining when you when you concede the goal that we do uh, in, in the first goal. No midweek game, um, first time we've said that in a couple of weeks, is this now a chance to try and reset a little bit? Yeah, it is. Um, we do need to we, we do need to bring the players back together because it's been a hectic schedule. It's been a real tough schedule. Obviously, that's our first defeat in the league since the turn of the year. Even goes back just before that as well. Um, so that side of it is, um, is yeah, it's it's a welcome break from that midweek fixture, Scott. It's a, it's a welcome break from um, having to pull the players together and try and see if we can go again. And we have to utilise that time um, to eradicate mistakes, but you know, to freshen players up to make sure that the next outing we come in we're fully fresh because I think it moments today you could start to see that we were uh, we were fatiguing and we were struggling hence why we make the changes in the game so um, all in all it's been a decent period for us um, today just leaves that bitter taste in your mouth just by um, just by not defending our penalty box from a from a free kick thanks for your time Stuart. cheers Scott.